on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah Push and pull and repel, any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that Hey guys and welcome back to another video so since the last video i dropped there's been a couple of updates so today's video i'll talk about the ceiling the inside ceiling the inside ceiling and the walls have been completed so that'll be the focus of today's video so we used plasterboard let me just flip over so you can see so this is the porch so you can see that the ceiling has been done and then that's we've even installed the light so for the ceiling, we use plaster board. So as you can see, that's plaster board, which has been installed. This is the hall. And then if I continue, there's a corridor. And then if I come here, this is the bedroom. Yeah, and then same for the bathroom, which is here. And then if I come back here, same for the kitchen. Um, for the the ceiling we used um, plaster boards to do the ceiling you might be wondering or might want to find out why plaster board instead of any other option or materials out there so plaster board because um, plaster board helps minimize the rate of heat that comes into the, the room as compared to that of uh, the normal plywood that is a very thin one so that's one of the reasons why we chose plasterboard however there are some disadvantages or downside to plasterboard which is it doesn't like water that is in terms of leakage continuous dripping of water on top of it is going to cause some chaos so that's one thing you need to know if you are choosing plasterboard so we chose plasterboard uh, for this because we noticed that compared to the plywood that is the thicker size the uh, price wasn't so much you know um, different so we decided to go with plasterboard now for this house we use a total of um, 16 plasterboard so um, my brother who happened to be a carpenter um, suggested I buy that is about 18 pieces well I took a good look at it again and I was really not bothered so much about the bathroom okay there's a helicopter passing by Yeah, so once in a while you have helicopters passing by. I don't know if it's a medical helicopter or so. So yeah, back to what I was talking about. He suggested I buy um, 18 pieces, which would be enough for every part, including the porch as well. However, I wasn't so much bothered about the bathroom. So I decided to purchase 16 because of the price of it. And funny enough, 16 was enough for everything, which even had the bathroom also covered for Okay, so that was really good now for the plasterboard one that cost about 110 cities so i was fortunate to have had a discount so i got one for 109 cities i just went to the up and i bought 16 pieces of it aside the plasterboard also i purchased what is known as the corner molding now the corner molding is what is at the edge or the corners of the um the ceiling which adds some you know beautiful unique um, looks to it compared to just having the plasterboard flat uh, flatly installed so yeah the corner molding was used for all the um the ceiling one of the corner molding you know there are different types of corner molding and um, different sizes and then different prices for them this particular one i got one was 21 cities um there's also the guy who came to do the scheming and then the fixing of the plasterboard as well as the corner mode and the advisor I should get like about um, I think about 29 pieces of it however looking at my budget I decided to go with 25 pieces and funny also that was also enough to do the entire building and even for the washroom as part so just half part of the bathroom which I think is fine so that was also with the corner molding aside the, the plasterboard and then the corner molding the materials that were used uh, where we had uh, pop powder 
that is the POP powder was used to install the, the corner molding. And then we have plasterboard powder. The plasterboard powder was used to um, you know, skim or yeah, skim the top of the plasterboard, which they call the Andrew. So and aside that also we had to purchase um, fire bar. So the fiber was used um, to aid fixing of the corner molding at the edge of the plaster board and then also there was mesh tape which was used on top of where there was joints you know fixing up the plaster board you use screws so you screw them to the ceiling joint and then where you have the joint at the edges of the plaster board you use mesh tape on top of it before you apply the um the p the plaster board powder which is mixed with water so basically that was how the fixing of the plaster board was now it took about uh, i think about three days to finish the fixing of the plaster box as well as to scheme the wall for the scheming of the wall we used um, home champ and um, we mix it with the pov powder and add a little bit of water and then they use it to scheme the wall so all the walls the interior walls have been skinned so as you can see which is, uh, yeah, this is the hallway, and then this is the, the bedroom, as well as the bathroom. Now for the bathroom, you notice that every part wasn't schemed. There's a part which is left for the tiles. Uh, so for the bathroom, I'm having a combination of tiles and then paint so that um, it saves cost. Aside cost also, um, you're able to change the paint color whenever you feel like to you know spice up the place a little bit so we did the same for the kitchen as well we had a part which you can paint it and then a part also which will have tiles um fixed so yeah let's just go ahead and go into the cost of um what it what went into the installation of the, the ceiling um yeah so let me just go over with the material so the materials just as I said earlier, we used plasterboard, 16 pieces of plasterboard. One did cost me 190, so the 16 pieces did co cost 1,744 cities. And then the corner molding, one was 21 cities. Um, 25 pieces did cost, um, I think, uh, 525 cities yet for that. And then, um, aside that, we also have the POP powder. We purchased two pieces of it. One was 75 cities, so the two was 150 cities. And then we purchased two kilos of um, the fiber, which was 22, 26 cities. And then for the sandpaper, we purchased, I think, uh, I purchased 80, 80, is it 80 was 80, yeah. The size was 80, and then the amount was 20 cities. And then home champ, so the home champ was used for the skimming of the wall. I purchased three buckets which did cost me 655 cities and then for transportation transporting the um, plaster board here that cost me 400 cities and then the workmanship for the installation of the plaster board the scheming of the wall and then the andrew of the plaster board also that cost me 1300 so let me just go ahead to add that so the total becomes 4,970 cities. Yes, 4,970 cities. So 4,970 cities, let me just do this. Yes, so 4,970 cities. Um, for the materials, we spent a total of 3,670 cities, which includes all the things I've mentioned. And then the workmanship, we spent 1,300 cities. So basically that was what went into the installation of the the ceiling, so as you can see, looks really cool. Uh, we didn't have any fancy design. Uh, you might have seen other people do. Yeah, we just were kept it very simple with the plaster board. So what is left to be done with the plaster board is um, some paper works on top of it, and then a little bit of filler at some point, and then after that, it's going to be painted. For the wall, uh, everything is done. It's been some prepared as well, so it looks very, very smooth. Yeah, very, very, very smooth. Yeah, so it's going to be, um, it's actually ready to be painted, as you can see. Now, I, I believe you can also see, also see that I have finished with the installation of my lever blade. So, yeah, I'm done with the, the room. This is the room. This is also the bathroom, and then this is the kitchen. Now, I must say that 
I didn't even mess up one of the plates. That is crazy. And I'm very, very much proud of myself for being able to pull it through, having everything installed. So that is with the ceiling for the inside. Let me just show a little bit of the ceiling for the outside, which we are still working on. So this is the TNG I spoke about. So as you can see that it looks pretty nice. Um, we've done the front part and we just continue to the side. So you see that as well. So this is also the side. You notice that this really looks very nice. Really, really nice. Uh, as I actually anticipated. And then also we have for the back. Now what is left so far is this side. We've done a bit of this side and unfortunately we didn't have uh, the corner molding wasn't enough to finish it. So we are just left with this side. As part of that also, uh, you notice that we've installed a solar panel. So I'll try and talk about the solar system, whole solar system in a different video. So the things I've learned, I actually fixed this all by myself. Aside for the panels that I had assistance of my brother to fix it. So every connection and oh, there's light. Let me just show you that. Yeah, there's, there's light. So you can see that we have some light over here and the fan works as well. So yeah. And we have the inverter over there. And I also did this cage to house the inverter battery. So I also try as much as possible to uh, do a video to cover how I went about that. So, so basically this video is to talk about the ceiling as well as the walls which have been completed um, as it stays now what is left is the towels still broke yeah still broke so yeah i think the last time i did say i was broke i had someone transfer or send me something was it teofilos or something yes teofilos so i haven't had a chance to you know make mention of that in one of my video and my video so today i'm doing that thank you very much teofilos i really really appreciate your support very very thankful so yeah if you if you're attached and you want to help me finish up with this i'll be very very glad to get your assistance or support so the way to the way to support will be on the screen to do that and of course you can reach out to me yeah so i'm left with the towels and then aside for the towels also the bathroom where and then the kitchen where and then after that the net for the windows now the net for the windows I'm looking at using metallic uh, mesh type of net, not the plastic or the rubber made one. So the metallic one lasts like for a very long time. So that's what I'm looking at using for the windows. So that is basically just about it. Thank you very much for sticking around and watching till the end and following through the entire series to this particular point. Um, this thing is, you know, this building is getting into shape. Um, before I go, let me talk about the porch or let me just introduce it in this video. So you see that we have a porch here with the design blocks um, installed. So yeah, uh, I'll try also to talk about the process of it in a different video and then also what it cost to have it um, done too. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. And don't forget to support me as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.